Hello, in today's video we're going to be solving equations and inequalities for y. By the end of this video you should be able to solve for y and below we've got some examples that I'm going to show you and three problems for you to try. Note that the first two examples I'm going to show you are inequalities. The last example is an equation. The steps are almost identical except for one little piece. Before we get started let's take a look at a couple vocabulary terms. Like terms are variables, same variable, in other words the same letter, that have the exact same exponents. And all constants are like terms. And remember, you can combine like terms, which just means you can add them or subtract them from each other. To solve for y means that you get one y on one side of the equal sign, or the inequality symbol. And you get every other constant and variable on the other side of the equal sign, or inequality symbol. Here are the steps to solving for y. First, simplify both sides of the equal sign. That means you combine your like terms. Second step is you do the opposite operations to get rid of everything but the letter you want. However, if the variable you're wanting to solve for is on two sides, like you've got y on both sides of the equation, you're going to move one of those variables off one of the sides. And also, if it's an inequality, just a quick reminder, that if you divide both sides by a negative, you're going to have to flip the inequality symbol. That's very important to remember as we get started. Let's take a look at our first example. Again, we're going to be solving for y, which means we're going to be getting y by itself. So this letter is going to be on this side, but everything else is going to be gone. And to do that, we're going to go through a series of steps, undoing operations, and sad map order. S stands for subtraction, A stands for addition, D stands for division, M stands for multiplication, E stands for exponents. And the P stands for parentheses. So we look and first thing we're going to see is are there any subtraction or addition or any terms we can get rid of by subtracting or adding. And we see that we have a positive 5x. Well, we can get rid of that positive 5x by taking 5x's away from both sides. When we take 5x's away from both sides, those 5x's are gone. We bring down the negative 6y, and it, we still copy down the greater than symbol, and we have a negative 5x and a positive 8. So I'm going to write minus 5x and then plus 8 since it was a positive 8. So we got rid of the 5x by taking 5x's away from both sides. Now if you look at the negative 6 next to the y, you'll notice that negative 6 next to y means that negative 6 is being multiplied by y. So we're going to get rid of the division or multiplication by doing the opposite operation. So we're going to get rid of that negative 6 times y by dividing both sides by negative 6. And notice what happens when we divide both sides by negative 6. We divide all of the terms on both sides by that negative 6, meaning the negative 5 and the 8 get the negative 6 underneath them. So negative 6 over negative 6 is a positive 1y, which you don't have to write the 1. Negative 5 over negative 6 is a positive 5 sixths x. And 8 over negative 6 is, when we reduce it, negative 4 thirds. Now one little key, we divided both sides by a negative. When divided by that negative 6, it's going to cause that inequality symbol to flip direction. So instead of y being greater than, y is going to be less than. And there you go. You have solved an equation for get one more together. And here we go. Notice it says 3x minus 5y is less than 2x minus 7y. Now if you feel like you know what to do and want to give it a try, go ahead and pause the video and try it out. See if you can get the right answer. If not, let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this one together. When we start off the problem to begin with, we notice that the y is on the right-hand side. Now, that's not a big deal, but when I'm solving this problem, I always like my y to be on the left-hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and add 7y to both sides to get rid of that subtract 7y. So I'm going to add 7y to this left-hand side. And I'm going to get 7y, and that's a positive 3x. I'm going to write plus 3x, and then minus 5. 
Notice I couldn't combine the 7y with the 3x or the 5, because the 5 and the 3x, well, they didn't have a y, but the 7 did have a y next to it, so they weren't like terms. I could not combine them together. Okay, go ahead and write down the less than or equal to, and we still have a 2x on this right-hand side. So now that I've done that, my next step is to start solving in 7th order to get rid of everything but that y on the left-hand side. So we're going to try to get this y by itself. So remember, SADMAP tells, we're going to, tells us we're going to subtract and add first, and then divide and multiply, and then do undo exponents, and then undo parentheses, if there are any, which there are not. So we're going to see if we can get rid of any subtraction or addition. Notice it's 7 times y plus 3x minus 5. So I can get rid of that plus 3x by subtracting 3x from both sides. I can get rid of that minus 5 by adding 5 to both sides. And notice we can do that as one step. We can subtract the 3x to get rid of the plus 3x and we can add 5 to get rid of the minus 5. Go ahead and draw a line underneath and let's keep track of everything we're doing by writing that less than or equal sign down below. Okay, let's go ahead and combine our terms. So We've got 2x's minus 3x's. That's going to give us a negative 1x, or just negative x. Then we have a plus 5, which we're going to write as plus 5. On the left-hand side, negative 3x, 3x canceled, positive 5, negative 5 canceled, and we're left with just the 7y. So we're going to write 7y. And we've gotten rid of the subtraction and addition. Now we're going to look at division and multiplication. Notice it's 7 times y. y isn't completely by itself because it has a 7 with it on the side. So I'm going to divide all the sides by 7. Well, when I divide the sides by 7, we're left with just 1y less than or equal to negative 1x over 7 plus 5 over 7 which we can rewrite up here. y, or 1y, is less than or equal to negative 1 over 7x. You can write it just like that, or you can write negative x over 7, means the same thing, plus 5 over 7. Now notice, the inequality symbol did not change directions because we divided both sides by a positive. In other words, the number we put on bottom was positive, so the inequality symbol did not flip. Here's three problems for you to try on your own. Go ahead and pause the video, work them out, and press play when you're ready to see the answer. All right, let's go ahead and get started on that first problem. Now that first problem, what we're gonna do is we are going to get y by itself, Notice it's a plus 6x, so I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides and bring down that greater than symbol. And we're left with negative 6x, and that's a positive 8, so I'm going to write plus 8. And I'm going to bring down the 2y. So we bring down 2y. We're going to divide everything by 2, since it's 2 times y, we divide everything by 2. And that leaves us with y is greater than negative 6 over 2 is negative 3x, plus 8 over 2 is plus Four, and we have y by itself. Let's go ahead and take a look at our next problem. 3x minus y is less than or equal to 12. And for this problem, we're going to go through the exact same steps as before, but be careful it's a little bit different. So we're going to subtract 3x from both sides because it's a positive 3x next to that y, not right next to. So we're going to subtract 3x from both sides. 3x minus 3x, they cancel. Bring down that less than or equal to symbol. We have a negative 3x plus 12, and we have a negative y. Now this one was a little bit different, so if you got stuck, no worries. Negative y. Remember the coefficient, if 1 is not written, is a 1. So it's like having negative 1y. We can get rid of that negative 1 by dividing both sides by negative 1. Now this does two things. One, it gets rid of that negative 1 from the y, so we just have the y. 
2, it's going to flip that inequality symbol because we divided both sides by a negative. So we get negative 3x over negative 1 gives us a positive 3x. Positive 12 over negative 1 leaves us with minus 12, and we have our answer. Let's take a look at our last example, which actually isn't an inequality, but it will solve out almost identically to the other ones we've done. So first thing I'm going to do is I've got a y on the right-hand side, and that's perfectly fine, but I like my y's on the left-hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and add 4y to both sides of the equation. So when we add 4y to both sides of the equation, this gives us 4y plus 2x minus 5 is equal to the 4y and negative 4y cancel. We're left with 9x and then a minus 8. So I've got a 2x and a minus 5 on the left-hand side I'd like to get rid of. So I'm going to get rid of that positive 2x and that minus 5 by subtracting 2x and adding 5. Subtracting 2x from the 9x and adding 5 to the negative 8. When I do this, it's going to leave me with 2x, negative 2x cancels, 5 and negative 5 cancels, so it leaves us with 4y on the left-hand side, and 9x minus 2x is 7x. Negative 8 plus 5 is a minus 3. And for our last step, we have to get rid of the 4 times the y, so we're going to do that by dividing all terms on both sides by 4. This gives us y is equal to 7 fourths x minus 3 fourths. And there you go. We have solved an equation for y.